you really don't like have to go out anywhere except like maybe to run your husband to work or something like that you know it is so hard to get me and Lincoln into like the routine of waking up and um, getting both of us dressed and uh, my hair I washed it and I just clipped it up because he started crying and like totally forgot about doing anything with it but anyways yeah I just pulled it out of the clip and well this is what it is anyways looks a little raggedy so every day I get him dressed I get me dressed but I don't always put makeup on and I'm gonna tell you what when you put makeup on it is crazy how much even just like foundation and mascara it's crazy how much it just makes you feel so much better and you wouldn't think that you know just just doing that every day makes you feel so much better and when you're feeling down about yourself just put you know just get yourself into that routine especially if you're a stay-at-home mom get yourself into that routine to every morning you know feed your baby feed yourself feed your family get your baby dressed you dressed and put this maybe maybe even mascara a little mascara put a little bit of mascara on and some foundation and it is crazy how that makes you just feel so much better I am a procrastinator I still have not um, filmed Lincoln's room tour I'm sorry I am horrible I am the worst hammer just sitting here on the couch he's just hanging out just got his butt changed the diaper's still here what I use on his butt just to protect it I use that to protect his little booty it's coconut oil and then our homemade wipes are right here um, if you guys want to see a video on how I did the wipes um, just let me know and I will do a little video on that and then um, the coconut oil is right here looks like that it's just a oil real thin not it's it is not greasy at all um when you put this on your skin feels amazing what baby what he said but um every time i change his butt i dry his butt off and i put this on um i honestly i get this for one dollar at um the dollar store and i have one that i keep out in the living room and then i have one that i keep in his bedroom on his changing table and we have he's almost three months old and we have went through one of these and you guys seen how much was in this one so we really haven't used a lot of it for me putting it on him every butt change um, diaper change. I call it butt change. See, it's changing my butt, huh? I'm changing my butt. Yeah, yeah. But, um, that is pretty much all that his little diaper changes consist of. Um, right now, we are using the Parents' Choice Diapers. And, um, thankfully, he does not have, like, a real sensitive butt. I don't know if it is because, um, I don't use, like, 
or I mean, I don't know if it's because I use like the coconut oil every time. That way I can just use, it. ooh, bless you. I don't know if it's because I use the coconut oil every time and um, it allows for him to not have a sensitive butt since this is a um, natural oil. But I have used Pampers, we have used Huggies, we've used Parent Choice, we have used Honest Company. I mean, we have used pretty much every, well, those are the ones that we've used. Honest Company, we have, he had a diaper rash in his life, ever. But, uh, that's what we use every time. Today, it is almost, they said it was supposed to be like almost negative 50 here in Ohio. Um, I'm not exactly sure where all of you are from. Um, but it is like very, very cold temperatures. And we have stayed in the house. He actually had a appointment today and they canceled it due to the cold weather. Um... <coughs> And why, baby? You may keep the camera on you. You want to see yourself. Oh, you want to see yourself. Who is that baby? Who is that baby? Is that Lincoln? Is that Lincoln? Wow. Who got the hiccups? Who got the hiccups? Ooh. Him's got the hiccups, huh? I'm sorry you got the hiccups. Mommy, sorry. <laughs> but, um, we have stayed in all day long. Um, we have not went outside. Except to take my husband to work, um, this morning. And it was only negative seven at... 9 30 this morning it is now about three o'clock in the afternoon and to be honest with you i'm not sure how uh what the temperature is right now i have not looked recently um because i'm inside and don't have to go out there i have not looked what do you keep spitting it out for sweetheart huh what do you keep spitting it out for what I love you. Mommy loves you. I don't know if you guys have ever met. I don't think Caden's ever actually been on my channel. Or been here when I've been recording. Uh, he's been here when I've been recording. But I don't think I've actually showed him on the on our channel. But this is my stepson. This is Willie's firstborn. This picture was from, I want to say two years ago, or last year, maybe. Yeah, I think this one was from last year. But that is Willie's firstborn. And then this, as you guys know, Lincoln is from uh, Willie and I. And this is my only child, and Willie's second. But, um... What are you doing? Uh, you mommy's hair in your hand. Today we're just kind of hanging out here at the house. I got twins here, as you guys can see. <laughs> um, Lincoln. Um, I don't know if you guys seen in my last video, I put an updated um face washing routine in there. And, um, my face is break, was breaking out. It's actually getting a lot better. But, yeah, it was breaking out. Um, Lincoln today is 10 weeks old. And last, I think it was Friday, I, um, went to the bathroom that morning started my period for the very first time since I've had him and I was gonna put it in his two-month video 
um, two month old like update, but I realized that I had already done that. And, um, so I didn't put it in there, so I'm just going to slide it into this video and let you guys know, um, postpartum wise, because I always do two month, um, update on him and then like two month postpartum videos and, uh, but I'd already recorded it, so because he is actually almost three months old now and I just now started my period for anybody that doesn't want to talk about things like that then I don't know what to tell you but um, normally they say and I was wondering like me and Willie were actually thinking I was pregnant again because I had not started my period and um but I am not pregnant because I started my period and I was looking it up on Google and they said you can actually start your period anywhere from eight weeks or six weeks to three years after having a child. And I, I just thought that was crazy. Um, a friend of mine, all of her kids... <laughs> She found out she was pregnant by the time she had a six-week checkup from the last one. She's got four boys. And that is just insane to me. Like, who would want three kids in diapers? That's just nuts. But, I mean, they're all going to be close in age. Like, very close in age. Um, when Cadence was ten months old when she had Wyatt... Wyatt was 10 months old when she had Gunner, and Gunner was 10 months old when she had Ian. Ooh, bless you. So, yeah, every one of them are 10 months apart, and she's got four boys. What are you doing? Are you just kicking your little feeders? Oh, you're kicking your little feeders. Yeah. I just wanted to like kind of have a chit chat with you guys, I guess. I felt like that was needed. Because this video is pretty long. And he is getting really fussy. So, um... Once our bathroom goes back together, I will do a house tour with you guys, but this is insane. Our, it should never take this long to do a bathroom. I understand that. It's been almost a month since we've been doing this bathroom, but my husband works all the time, like 12 hour days, and he's been taking the weekends off to do this bathroom. And, uh, that's literally all he's done while he is home, is the bathroom. Like, me and Lincoln really don't even get to spend time with him, which sucks really badly. But, I mean, it is what it is. He's, we need to get this bathroom done, and he knows that, I know that, and that's all that matters. Like, literally, let me show you guys what the bathroom looks like right now. This will be like a little bathroom update. Alright. Hold on. This is literally what our bathroom looks like right now. Ooh. They have everything out of it. I don't know if you guys can see that. You guys remember how small this bathroom was, right? I hope. <laughs> but, um, this right here is where the vanity is going to go. Like, they got the water run, like the thing for the water, for the vanity, the sink, whatever you want to call it. There's going to be an electric outlet there, and then the light is going to go there. 
for the vanity, like right up above the vanity, and then we'll have the mirror, of course. The toilet is gonna go there, obviously, because it was here. That right there is where the toilet was. And then um, the toilet is going there, and then the shower is gonna go here. Um, you guys can see where we, I forget exactly what that thing is called. I think it's the trap. No, I don't know. Um, but that is where the shower is going to go once they get that in. They got all the plumbing ran underneath. Um, they got to do something because the wax um, seal that they put on the toilet, something about these right here went through it, I guess, when they were putting it on. So the toilet isn't completely like on there the way that it should be. You guys can't really see that right now. But that toilet should not be able to rock like it is and it's rocking. But as soon as our house is completely back together, I will do a uh, full on um, house tour for you guys. And uh, this weekend, I promise you guys by Tuesday, I will have Lincoln's room tour uploaded, edited and uploaded. But I just have not felt up to it at all. Like our house is Everything from the bathroom is out here. Everything from my husband's closet is out here. And it is like, it's depressing. It's, I don't know. Like, it's annoying. It's depressing. So I haven't really felt up to doing all of that. Like, anything really. But, um, I'm gonna get off here and I am going to make, um me something for lunch. I just fed Lincoln, so I'm going to make me something for lunch. And I will probably be back here in just a little while. Lincoln is doing some tummy time and he's watching his PJ masks. That's like one of his favorite cartoons. Oh baby. And Cruzy Doo is back there. Cruzy. Let's see. Say hi, Bubba. Say hi, Cruzy. Cruzy Doo is back there. Lincoln's doing his tummy time. I'm getting ready to start dinner. We're going to have spaghetti and meatballs with um, Texas toast. Um, and then I got to go pick up my husband. And then when we come back, I'm going to read Lincoln his um, a story. Every night when I'm feeding him his nighttime bottle, I re uh, read a story to him as well. And um, usually by the end of the book, he's out. And then I go and put him in his bed. And my husband actually has been wanting him to sleep with us. So um, he has been sleeping in our bed. And uh, people can hate for that all they want, but he's our son. And if we want him to sleep with us, he'll sleep with us. If we want him to sleep in his own room, he'll sleep in his own room. I mean, his own bed. But what I love about Lincoln is he does not have to sleep with us. He does not have to have us sleep with him or be holding him or anything like that to get him to sleep. You know, sometimes he will scream and cry until I put him down or put him in his mamaru to go to sleep on his own. He doesn't always like to be held to fall asleep. And I absolutely love that because, you know, sometimes I can't help him 
fall asleep or can't hold on to him, you know, because I need to get things done around the house. And I absolutely love that about him. That he's already an independent baby and he's only almost three months old. I love that. Because I don't want him to be, you know, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve years old and still sleeping in our bed. So that's awesome that, you know, he can sleep on his own. But at the same time, we like him to sleep in our bed too. So once we get our room fixed and get that one side of the bed clear, or one side of the bedroom cleared out where his bassinet is, actually he might be getting too big for that bassinet now. He's almost 13 pounds, you know? So I think he might be too big for that bassinet now. He hasn't slept in it in a few weeks. So he's got two bassinets. One we have out in the living room which is the playpen and bassinet. Like you can take the top of it off and it's a playpen or you can clip the top on and it's a bassinet. He's got that one that we keep out in the living room and then he's got the one that's by our bed that uh, he might actually be too big for it by now. I don't know. I can't remember what the weight limit on that one was. But um, he's been sleeping with us anyways. Me, him, my husband, and our uh, little crazy do back there. Spoiled do. He's so beyond spoiled. But we all sleep in the bed together. And um, as soon as Cruz or as soon as Lincoln starts his crying and stuff, uh. I pick him up, take him out into the living room, and like we have like our own little station, which is actually right here. This right here is the bassinet that I was just talking about. Um, when he sleeps in it though, the only thing that is actually in it is this right here. And he sleeps right there, and I'm always right here with him, so. It's not like I leave him in there, you know. Like sometimes I will go in there in the kitchen and like do the dishes or cook or something. And I don't leave him on our lounger because I don't want like the dog. He's, the dog usually does not sleep on this end of the couch. He's got his own end that, that is designated just for him. But sometimes Cruzy will jump up on me and Lincoln's part of the couch and like I don't want him to plop him off so I'll stick him in his bassinet and then go into the kitchen and uh, like do our dishes or you know whatever I need to do but um, I have our little uh, he's got a little basket of his toys it's just got a little rattle ball in it, a little book that is like a cloth book, and then he's got um, this little rattle, and then he's got his little bunny rattle, and then he's got this thing, and then a mighty bean, which he don't play, I just threw it in, threw it in there. And then I have his little changing station cart right here. That includes a changing pad. It's a Graco changing pad. It just comes out like this. And then it's easy to just wipe it on off. Fold it back up. And then... Um, Usually these diapers are not in here. It's just these ones. But since I got the end of the um, bag of diapers, I went ahead and just brought these ones out and then opened a new pack. And because I, you'll see the way I have his room set up and his changing station. Um, we have our nose sucker, um, some healing ointment, which I use these just for like protectant on his bu uh, little bum. 
Um, I have a little thing for night lotion. Um, this is his the um, the lanolin when I was breastfeeding. A lid from when I was breastfeeding. Um, this is also Calazime skin protectant. Um, this is also for his little bum. And then, um, like on the nights that he don't get baths, I use our Johnson's hand wipes. There's 25 of them in here. Um, I just pull one out, wash him down. And then, um, here's our little handmade or homemade wipes that I use for him. And... Then here is his little grooming kit. It's got everything that I need in it. Um, his little brush, a uh, temperature thing, nail files, nail clippers, all of that is in there. I feel like I'm missing something that is usually in here. Oh yeah, his... Um, I usually have a thing of coconut oil in here that I do believe you guys seen earlier, but I don't see it now. Oh, it's right here, right in front of me. And then I uh, usually have his coconut oil in here as well. Um, the nose sucker usually is not in his changing station, but since uh, he had a booger that I had to get this morning. Sorry if you guys don't like talking about boogers. This is a baby. So, I mean, it is what it is. And this is real life stuff. But that's about all that um, is in our little chain or in our little baby station that we have over here on our side of the couch and then this little bag here I carry like his little medicines and stuff um, in case he has um, I got our gripe water for if he has like gas or anything like that um, he did have a cold about a month ago and I got the cough syrup for mucus and stuff like that for infants I have a mascara in here and I don't know why. Um, gas drops. That was when I couldn't find his gripe water, so I had to go buy this. And then um, baby Tylenol. I went and bought it, but we never used it. And then um, there's a couple thermometers in here for him. And then uh, the droppers. And then, of course, some uh, hand sanitizer as well. But that's pretty much like his little, our little station for him. And I just keep it over here. We have our little station over here. And, you know, when I need to change him, I just grab the wipes, the diaper, his um, per, he, uh, bum protectant. And his changing pad and lay him down and change his little butt. And another thing that I absolutely love, he loves to have his butt changed. Like if he pees just a little bit, he's crying wants his butt changed. He does not like to be dirty. He's a very clean baby. He loves to be clean. And I think that's from when I first had him. It was like I was constantly checking his diaper. Constantly, constantly, constantly. And every time that line was a little bit blue on his diaper, he was getting changed. And I think that is why he is so adamant about having a dry butt. Dry diaper. I call it dry butt. But um, I love that because... You know, he's not a dirty baby, and hopefully, you know, when he does get older, he's going to be 
want to take a bath every single night and I won't have to fight him, which I already think he will because he loves to get in the bath. He loves it. He doesn't like to get out of the bath. He loves to get in the bath, though. He loves to be inside the bath. But, um, that is all that I have for you guys, um, today. Um, Tuesday, I promise you guys I will have his room tour done, edited, uploaded, everything by Tuesday, I promise. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I got to start, get, um, dinner started. And, uh, I think he passed down on me while he was doing his tummy time. Yeah, so I'm going to have to flip him over onto his back, take this into my bedroom, and, uh, throw the diaper away. Anyways. I am going to get off of here. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. And um, I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Or see you guys in my next one. Bye.